the thing here. I don't know. Aha. So for this dish we're doing here, um, we would take this, this lovely cheek, salt it lightly, and add a few aromatics, a bit of spice is quite nice. Salt it and leave it overnight, and then cook it really gently in, preferably in duck fat. So it's comfy and it's really sort of dropping off the, off the um, skewer. Completely soft. This one's sort of firmed up a bit just where it's cool, but it comes out with this perfect sort of wobble. Jelly, jelly on a plate. From this stage then, they go into the oven. Let's get these ready. And um, we, we take a piece of, piece of bread. You see, we've got, we've got the bread on the bottom. Um, you want an oven that's sort of medium-ish, not too, if it's too hot, it'll start to, to burn on the top and you'll lose some of your lovely toast. So I recommend a, a rack so you haven't got direct contact with the bottom of the tray. And all of that lovely fat then renders down in, gets soaked up by the bread. And that gives you your, your crispy pig's cheek. Ah, um, and popular way of serving this, which we do in the, in the restaurant quite a lot, is to do a salad with it. So we'll just chop, chop straight through. And you get a, a sort of magic that's more than the sum of the parts. We have got crispy it. skin on the top. So I think that's pig blood, not mine. Um, the, the fat just sort of renders down through, gets, all gets caught by the bread. The meat is lovely and tender and, and, and delicious in there as well. Um, and the, the crispy croutons at the bottom. And we just chop, chop the whole lot up. Nice and chunky. These were slightly rushed this morning, but what you're aiming for is this sort of crispy, crispy bit on the top, and then that melt, melt pan through. And in the bowl here, I've just got very simple uh, mustard vinaigrette. So it's some Dijon mustard, a little bit of garlic, lemon juice, um, white wine vinegar, nice bitter extra virgin olive oil, all whisked, whisked up. We've got some of this, I'm not, not sure what the, um, I've actually been told the name in Spanish, but I apologise, it's one of those that I can't, can't quite get my mouth around. So, it's dandelion. So some dandelion leaves, which again, we, 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 we've also the market. And we're back to shallots and parsley again, which are very big favourites at St John. Um, Equally happy with a raw sliced shallot or even a, a roast shallot, depending on your mood. So put a few shallots in there. A little um, bit of parsley. The shallot. In few cases. Um, I think that when you chop veg, it's um, supposed to remember the curve of nature. If the if, um, great chef in the sky meant us to sort of dice. And through little squares, true made special square. They didn't. Um, so yes, the curve of nature. Very important. Um, I'm throwing, throwing a bit of a big cheek. Can you be fairly liberal with your dressing with this one? In with a nice bit of dandelion. Should behave. And 
Sally. Yeah, we don't, we're not allowed to focus these instructions. We're not allowed to sort of build the salads. Salads have to have um, a, so back to Star Wars probably again. They have yes. to have it. It's um, a moment. We'll start playing with the salad for boss. It's a little bit all. So, just make sure the salad knows who's in charge. Um, it's true, sad. Um, Foodie joke. Um, how do you know someone's a vegan? I don't know. How do you know someone's a vegan? I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, um, good. Um, this is a bit slow, man. Don't know tricks. Yes. Do you know a foodie joke? Um, okay. walking along and um, with chicken. And it goes, bop, 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 bop. So, once they're done, uh, bop, 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 bop. Ah. And the chicken then goes, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> and I go up to the chicken, the policeman comes along. This is your next foul language. Anyway, um, Thank you. Thank you.